Today, we're going to learn how to automate sentiment analysis for our customer feedbacks using AI and make.com. In today's world, gathering customer feedback for your product has never been more important. It's even more important to analyze the customer sentiment behind that feedback. Knowing how well or how badly your audience perceives your product can make or break your entire business. Getting feedback from your customers is the easy part. Getting a sentiment analysis from that feedback is kind of tricky. Lucky for you, we're going to build an automation that will allow us to collect customer feedback and generate a sentiment analysis simultaneously. The first thing we're going to do is add the Google Forms module, and our action is going to be the Watch Responses action. You can use any tool of your choice to gather customer feedback, JotForm, Airtable, or even Typeform. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll be using Google Forms. Let's hop on over to our customer feedback form and make sure we're getting the right responses. We'll fill out our form and run the scenario in Make. Our result looks okay, and we can move on to the next step. Our next module is going to be the Dumpling AI module, and our action is going to be the Generate an Agent Completion action. Like always, we're going to take a quick detour and head on over to our Dumpling AI dashboard, specifically the Agent section. We're going to create an AI agent to specifically provide a sentiment analysis to our customer feedback. We'll copy our agent ID and paste it in make. Our role is gonna be user and our content is gonna be our customer feedback. Now it's important that we map out the response to each question so that our LLM can get a proper idea of the full response and by extension, the full sentiment. The more information we have, the better our agent will be able to do its job. Now you can limit this to responses that you feel are relevant. And if you're doing so, it's a good idea to update your agent's prompt to reflect the response it should pay particular attention to. For our demonstration, we'll be using all responses from our customer feedback form. Finally, we're going to add a Google Sheet module, and our action is going to be the add a row action. This is where we're going to save our customer feedback, and most importantly, our sentiment analysis. Remember, you can use any tool of your choice like Airtable, Excel, or any other spreadsheet tool you're comfortable working with. We're going to map out the responses from our Google Forms and the generated text from our Dumpling AI agent. Let's save our scenario and hop on over to Google Sheet. We want to make sure our spreadsheet is empty.
That doesn't look good. Let's reload the page and try this again. As you can see, our spreadsheet's empty. Let's head over to our customer feedback form and fill it out again. Let's hop on over to Make and run our scenario. Our scenario has been successful. Let's hop on over to our Google Sheet and see for ourselves. And as you can see, not only have we gotten our feedback, but we've also got a sentiment analysis along with it to better understand the feedback. Remember, you can refine your agent to be more descriptive, provide longer analysis, or maybe even offer solutions according to the feedback. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.